Welcome to LinkedIn Heroes. I'm Nathaniel Bibby. Our next guest is the founder of Blockchain Academy. It gives me great pleasure to welcome my friend, Jag Jassel, to the show. I'm actually here for a Dr. John D. Martini event uh, tonight, and I bumped into the one and the only Jag Jassel. How are you feeling tonight, Jag? Excited, super excited. Love to see. I've, I've heard about Dr. Martini so many times, but I'm looking forward to hearing him first time live. Awesome. For those of you that are watching that haven't come across Jag before, do you mind just giving like there's probably only a few of them out there knowing your reputation, but would you mind giving just a two minute overview of, of what you do and why? Yep. Um, look, my name is Jag and uh, I'm one of those guys who uh, left a job a while ago and started my own business. I run an academy called Second Innings Academy and uh, I teach people technology, specifically blockchain, and also help businesses uh, uh, get to the next level. And that's what I've been doing it uh, from last year. But before, many, many years ago, I used to work for our companies like IBM or and came out of those companies and started teaching people business. So you, before you started the Second Innings Academy, you got a check, didn't you? Uh, I did. I did. <laughs> I did. So um, you've been there and done that. Uh, I have, I have, uh, but uh, I've got a bit of uh, issue with that. I can't disclose that uh, to people at the moment, just because. Uh, but I've, I've done that. Yes, I've done that. That's awesome. So somebody who's been there, grown a business, exited that business and then moved on to help others do the same. Um, so Jack, along the way, uh, what was, um, what would you attribute, would be the number one habit, trait or, you know, thing that you've practiced religiously which has attributed to your success as an entrepreneur? Um, look, I think number one thing is uh, what I truly believe that number one was for me to know who I am. Right. Without knowing who I was, it was really, really hard because every time I tried to do, everything was totally different. So the moment I found out who I am, because I've done a lot of strength tests, all that, finding out exactly what works for me. The moment I knew it, uh, that I'm the creator, I, I'm, my 90% of skill is creation. So I spend more time in creating and I hired other people to manage stuff, hired other people to program things and um, you know, I started doing what I love doing anyway. So that's what my biggest thing was, find who I, I was and just do more of that. What blows my mind, because Jack and I become good friends, we met at Anthony Robbins and Jack's doing more fucking like activity than anyone I know. Like he's, he's got podcasts and like he doesn't do it. I don't know. How often do you do podcasts? Um, look, I try to do a couple of times a week. A couple of times a week and you've got YouTube and you've got, like if you go to his website, there's like every social channel you could possibly imagine. And he's, he's coaching people on how to not work in your business, work on your business, but yet you just do all this content. Absolutely. Look, at this is my strength and I love my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me. Instagram. Uh, I've, I've, my Instagram go crazy. Look, I love it. Uh, all my contact, all my uh, business from last, I would say 30 to 40 percent came from Insta. Really? I'm not joking, right? And it's uh, people actually ask me all of the speaking gig I got, they got it from Insta. Insta? Yes. And it's unbelievable. All my stories and everything. And I don't actually share very business specific. I share everything. So my life is pretty open. So there is nothing hidden behind. There is nothing behind the curtain. Everything is straight open, right? So that's me. Jack, what's one of the challenges you've encountered as an entrepreneur and how did you overcome it? Holy dooly, I think uh, I can put a book on that, right? Uh, I started in 2001, if you guys don't know me. I have started in 2001, I started building platforms. I started every startup. I failed at 13 startup before making one successful. So I've got a list of things which I'm not good at. What was your favorite failure? <laughs> um, look, my favorite is uh, because I was an IT guy who actually understood technology really well. And uh, my every time I tried to do any business startup, I did most of my technology technology work and that was my biggest failure. I've worked in the business, not on the business. I was pretty good at technology. I built the platform, but I didn't do was marketing. I didn't do sales. I built the best table in the world, but I didn't know how to tell people this is the best table in the world. Mm. Right. So that's yeah. what I learned along the way. Yeah, awesome. And I can totally see that in your growth as an entrepreneur. Um, 
you've really, really done exceptionally well. There's a lot of people that talk about shit, yes. and uh, what I've noticed with Jag is he's, he's he'll talk. I mean, he'll talk about it when you catch up with him, but like you know, he's he's already. Um, you know, implemented what he's talking about, and he's on to the next thing before he's um, before you catch up with him again. Jag, uh, what are you excited about in the business world or in your own business at the moment? Um, look, one of the biggest thing is now is sharing all those skills and uh, what I learned in the last many years. I'm excited about seeing people's growth. I'm really excited about uh, meeting people who come and see to me and send me an email. Like, I'll give you an example. A couple of days ago, I got an email from the US. Uh, one of the webinars I did, Masterclass, I ran on Thursday, oh, sorry, Friday, but for them it was Thursday. And the guy sent me an email saying uh, that was one of the biggest or one of the best webinars he attended and uh, like these emails makes a big difference so I'm really excited about making the difference now in next six months and uh, I can see things gonna change really quickly and I'm really excited about that world I've got a funny feeling you're gonna get a few of those emails from this interview and perhaps it might come from this next question that I've got for you All right, cool. I haven't briefed Jag for this, so he might, you know, be put on the spot a little bit. But uh, look, if you could be a superhero other than yourself, yeah. <laughs> who would you be and why? Um, look, this is sorted out for me. I always wanted to be a superhero like Superman, who was everywhere, who could do anything. I'm the Superman for everything. Like, Superman is my best superhero. And I've grown up watching him, and I, I wish I had those powers. Right? <laughs> Kryptonite, I know, but I wish I had all the other powers. Right? Yeah. I think it's only found on another planet, isn't it? True. Yeah, awesome. Jag, thanks for your time and attention today. I'm sorry that we have to keep it brief. It's not my fault. No we blame LinkedIn. They've only allowed us 10 minutes. When they increase the time limit, we'll increase the length of the interviews and hopefully do another one. Thanks very much, Jag. Thank you, guys. Uh, look, thanks for the opportunity. I know you guys are loving his LinkedIn heroes. Um, shout out for this guy. He's been working really hard. I've seen his videos. I love the work. Uh, you know, good work, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you.